Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these leaf shape earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. And I wanted to tell you that you could make those earrings in one and the same color and but here for tutorial purposes I will show you with different colors. Uh, to be more visible and here I want to tell you that if you're worried that your thread is showing uh, here I use fire line and here I use monofilament and when I use monofilament none of my thread is showing so if you prefer no thread to be seen use monofilament but have in mind that the fire line is stronger and uh, it won't get curly when you work with it okay so now, if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from links to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using for this video are four colors of 11 on seed beads you could use 10 on seed beads if you want and don't forget that you could use only one color of seed beads for your work but here for tutorial purposes i prefer to use four colors to be more visible here i use ear wire this is fire line that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters size 10 beading needle and scissors and now i'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm back and i want to start by picking up 16 of these beautiful green beads Okay guys, and now I have 16 beads. Okay, four times uh, four, it's 16. And I'm going to slide those down. Almost until the end of this row. And now here guys, I'm going to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through this loop I've made and I'm going to pull like this and now I'm going to make one more knot and I have this beautiful circle of beads here okay and now I'm going to go through eight beads so I'm going through four beads in this direction and then I'm going through four more. Okay. And I'm going to take one green bead and I'm going again through four beads and then I'm going through four more beads like this. And take just one more green bead. Okay. Okay, and now I'm exiting out of the first two green beads after this angle bead that I just added. And what I want to do is take two yellow beads, and my second row will consist only of yellow beads. Okay, and I'm pulling, going back in circle through these two green beads and pulling. And you see what I have here. I have something like a loop between those beads. And then I'm going in the following two green beads. And I'm taking two yellow beads again. Going back in circle through these two green beads. Then through the following two. And I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay. 
okay and now this is what I have and now guys I'm up to the angle bit here and I'm going through this angle bit and what I would like to do is take three yellow beads and go back through this angle like that making a cross of four beads three yellows and one green okay now I have this and I'm going through the following two green beads and I'm going to repeat what I did from this side I will take two yellow beads I will go back in circle through these two green beads and if I can I will go also through the next two green beads okay to save time okay and I'm going to repeat this three more times okay guys now I have this and what I want to do here I have here a gap and here I also have a gap and I want to fill those gaps with beads but in order to do this first I will go through this green bead take one yellow bead and fill here the first gap and go through also through as many beads as I can in this direction okay go through all of those beads here like that then go here at the angle and what I want to do here at the angle is to add the next color three beads of my next color which is light orange and I'm going back in circle through this angle bit here okay like that and then guys what I want to do is go through the following beats and reinforce my my side here okay And here at the end what I want to do is add one more yellow bead and fill this gap here okay so when I pull tight I have this okay guys and now I'm going to start my next row which is light orange okay I'm going through the first two yellow beads take two light orange beads like this and I'm going back in circle through these two beads here okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay guys now what I do is that I go to at the other side of this angle here okay and I'm going through two yellow beads and I want to take two orange beads like that and I'm going back in circle through these yellows like I did before and now guys I'm going to continue this until the end of this row I will do this off camera and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last two orange beads from this row 
just like that. And here, what is missing is one yellow bit. Okay, I'm adding it here. Okay, like that. Then what I want to do is go back through this orange. In this way, I'm changing directions. And I will take one light orange bead and go through this yellow to fill the gap here. Then I'm going to take one more light orange bead and fill this gap here. Okay. Now, guys, this is what I have. And I'm going to flip my work because I prefer to work in this direction. And now I'm going to add four orange beads from each side to fill the gaps. Okay, I'm taking one orange. Go here through these two beads. One more. Okay. A third one. And the last fourth one. Okay. And now, guys, I have this. And here, what I want to do is add my next final color, which is dark orange. And I'm going back in circle through these orange beads. Then I'm going through the following two, okay, and here I'm going to add four more beads, Okay, and here it comes the last step where I add one of these beautiful orange beads, okay, like that. Okay, guys, and now I'm going to start adding dark orange beads, okay, two dark orange beads, go back in circle here, go through the following two, Two more dark orange beads. Okay. And now, guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row, and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two dark orange beads. And I won't be adding any more rows here. Okay. And what I do is that I go through these two beads here at the angle, these two beads, okay? And I will take two dark orange beads. And I'm going back in circle through those two beads, okay, like this. Then I'm going through the following two. Take two orange beads, go back in circle through those two beads, okay, and continue doing this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last two dark orange beads from this row, okay, and here guys, what I need to do is go back through all of those orange beads in this direction and connect them okay like this i will flip my work okay i'm going through all of those beads in this direction it's forming a, a slight bend to it which is a cool effect and it, it looks more like a leaf, like that.
Okay guys, and it comes my final step where I need to add the last two beads from this row here like that. And here guys, I want to add my ear wire. And in order to do this, I want to change directions, okay? I want to go here through this orange and I want to exit out of this orange, but in the, the opposite direction. Okay, now I'm taking my ear wire. I'm going through it. Then I'm going through the following orange bit and pulling. Okay. And then what I want to do is go back through some beads and reinforce this joint. Okay. I will go back through this orange here. Through the following yellow. Okay. And I will go through some more beads in this direction. Okay. And don't worry if this thread is too visible. This is um, partly because of the video and the greater resolution and partly because I'm using uh, here fire line to be more visible. But you could use monofilament and your thread won't be seen. Okay. Okay, guys. Now I will find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, here I'm making a loop. Going once, going second time through the loop I've made and I pull. And I could repeat this several more times. And when I'm ready, I will go through the following seed bead. And I'm going to cut my thread as close as possible to my work. Okay. And now my leaf earring is ready.